So I'm on a virtual forklift at Fredcat in Central Park, and on this week's edition I'm going to tell you about this and all the other wonderful training opportunities here at the Fredericksburg Center for Advanced Technology. On this week's edition I'm at the Fredericksburg Center for Advanced Technology, uh, more commonly known as Fredcat, uh, at 1325 Central Park Boulevard in the Central Park Shopping Center. And today I'm with many of my friends from Germana, uh, Ben Sherman, who's the Business and Career Coordinator, Dr. Janet Gullickson, who's the President of Germana Community College, Dr. Sashana Gray, who's the Vice President of Academic Affairs and Workforce Development, and Tina Lance, who's an Associate Professor at Germana. Uh, thank you for having me here today. Wonderful to have you. Stop in any time. This is the community's facility. Yeah, so we just got a little tour, but maybe you could just give us the, the quick version of what, what FredCat is, what you'll find here. FredCat is really a partnership among uh, Germana as well as the city of Fredericksburg and specifically the EDA. And we are so grateful that they have supported us. But another partner is our business and industry partners who help us develop all of these amazing training opportunities for young people, like I mean fifth graders, as well as older people who are getting career certificates in areas like asphalt technology and HVAC and heavy equipment operator, as well as other kinds of skilled trades. And you've got all kinds of amazing equipment here. We tried out some of the virtual equipment here. So talk through just some of the equipment that you'll find here and what you can do with it. Well, that's great. We have a number of pieces of simulator equipment or heavy equipment, we have four pieces. We have a forklift simulator. We have a welding simulator. We also have simulators for all of our trade training, uh, which are electrical, HVAC, plumbing, uh, carpentry's on the way. So anybody that wants any kind of training, we can do it here at Frank Hat. Yeah, and uh, I know Virginia is making quite a push on these, this type of training for infrastructure type um, jobs and improvements. So uh, talk a little bit about that, sort of Virginia's push for that and, and then how FredCat fits into that. Absolutely, and I'm gonna ask Dr. Shoshana Gray to talk about that as she is on the statewide committee developing the Infrastructure Academy. So as we look at infrastructure, we're gonna have about 50,000 jobs in the next 10 years that we need to fill. And so instead of every college or organization setting up their individual training, we're looking at taking a complete inventory of what the state currently has, where those facilities are located, and how people can receive that initial in the class training, where they're currently located, and then going to specific remote locations to get the hands-on training. And this Infrastructure Academy is really going to look at the needs of Virginia first. So, you know, in the Hampton Roads area, you're looking at a lot of shipbuilding, welding, but we offer welding training here. So we'll be able to provide that baseline training for people um, regardless of where they live. And remember that these are 50,000 new jobs. So these are not existing jobs, these are new jobs. And infrastructure is so important. And we think just trains and planes and automobiles, but infrastructure is actually incorporating all of those technologies, but even some type of nursing and cyber and IT. And the type of training that you can get here can help you to get uh, really a good job, really good paying jobs that are, that are very available, is that right? That is right. They're all high demand jobs and they are not low paying. Uh, you know, again, that's what we're looking at is placing them in a good living, something they can build in their future and have that pathway to success. So how can, if somebody wants to take a class here, uh, how, what do they do to find out? Go to germana.edu. You can look at the workforce offerings and we have them detailed out from apprenticeship to technology uh, to uh, machining. Any of that can be purchased online. Well, it's, uh, again, it's a uh, it's such a wonderful facility and very sincerely we're so proud in the city of Fredericksburg to have this fine uh, center here and Germana is a wonderful institution and we're so proud to have Fredcat here in the city. So, um, so we certainly uh, encourage people to go to that website, see what's available. Uh, people can come over here and take a tour. Yes, um, most certainly. So, And we'd love to have um, school districts, school divisions, grades uh, levels of students, young people. In fact, I was just talking we could bring a preschool class here and they'd have a lot of fun. And, and highly educational as well. So again, we, we really appreciate the tour. We appreciate everything you do for our community. 
And um, anything final to add before we wrap up today? Just another plug for our employer support. We really need that and we will continue to seek it because without working towards meeting employment needs, we're not really doing our job. Well, again, thank you again mm -hmm. for all of you for joining and for all the good work you do every day for our community. Thank you, Bill. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Okay. So that'll do it for this week's edition. We appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Fred Focus newsletter, and we'll keep you up to date on all the great things happening in the city of Fredericksburg. See you next week.